We're Vero and Justin, Canadians who took a year off in our 30s to travel the world. We rented a car for three months in order to explore as much of Europe as possible, starting with Croatia. Yesterday, we drove from Zadar to Split and stopped in Trogir along the way. The road without toll is about 30 minutes longer from Zadar than taking the A1, but it's very scenic. After planning this trip for over two years, we could feel the anticipation building the closer we got to Split. It's going to be really cool to see a place that we've just street viewed the shit out of on Google. If you like our videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. Good afternoon from beautiful Split, Croatia. So Split versus Zagreb first impressions. It definitely feels more like Mediterranean, Italian, narrow streets where it seems like only pedestrians can walk through. See? Thin streets. Lots of them. And the stones are all like shiny and nice and white. So the other great thing about these narrow passages and streets is that they hide countless amount of cafes and restaurants. There are so many. I don't know how they could ever all be full at once. This palace is actually the foundation of the city of Split. It wasn't never meant to be a city. It was built as a summer residence for Diocletian. It took 10 years to build and then over time, once he passed away, it was converted multiple times for whatever the citizens of Split needed from it at the time. Oh, fun fact about the Diocletian Palace. It is the best kept example of Roman architecture in the world still standing. This is called the Split the Riva. So it's a French style boardwalk because yeah, Napoleon had conquered this area. There's palm trees everywhere. It's the first time we see so many. We saw a few in Zadar, but this whole thing is lined with palm trees. And actually, when we were in Zagreb last February, we would look at the live webcam of Split, <laughs> especially on the cold days, and you could still see these palm trees in February. This view right here behind me was my wallpaper on my work computer for the past year, ever since we came back because of COVID from Zagreb. So it's great to finally be here in person. All that time we were waiting and saving it up and we'll get to finally see it in person. Some of the bars along the Riva and Split have those misters. So if you get really warm, you can either go into the crypts of the palace or you could just sit down for a nice bivol in the mist. So we're trying a different beer today. It's called Vuko Varsko Domatze. Tasty. Yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. I haven't even seen it at a store yet. No. Cheers. Now we're off to the Campanile. It is a bell tower with the Cathedral of St. Dominus. Yeah, hopefully we can get in with the dog. Now I'm clear, still square. And this behind me is a sphinx that is 3,500 years old. And this space right here is where musicians play and there's theater because it has really good acoustics. But there's none right now. At 10 p.m. every day, according to the sign right behind us, there's music. Now we're going down to the crypts of the oh, Diocletian okay. Palace. Yes. So it turns out you have to pay to get into the crypt, the cathedral, and the treasury. And for us, it's not really worth it because the dog can't come in. There's no dog sign. But you can't walk around the whole perimeter for free. Vero did all the research for this place, but sent me in to buy the tickets. 80 kuna for two tickets, and we just wanted to do the bell tower, but turns out we bought the Cadillac ticket, which brings us access to five sites, the cathedral, the crypt, baptistry, treasury, and the bell tower. But honestly, if you want to do the bell tower, your only option is the green or the purple, and 170, 180, so might as well go full Monty. So it turns out we didn't buy the full Monty, but we didn't know that up until now. So we just like showed him to the guy working in front of the cathedral and he's like, sure, sure. But no, our passes are only for the bell tower. It's because it was 80 total, not 80 each. It's 80 each if you want to go to everything. So we just got into the cathedral for free and I feel like we just cheated Jesus. Wow. These are very narrow. Oh, watch your head here. Okay. <laughs> so dogs are not allowed on the bell tower, but we asked the guy nicely. Yeah, the acoustics are fantastic in here. Um, he said, small dog, it's okay if you carry her. So this bell tower was built in the year 1100 AD, and it has a Romanesque style. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what that is. 
and it has six stories. So we're about to be able to see the great views of the city and the Adriatic. Worth it, 40 kuna. We're only at level two and it's nice. So I'm until this part where you're in the tower that's very open air. You do have to watch your head when you crawl through. It's very narrow, very tight because you're in the part that has no windows. But this part they installed a real, I'm already out of breath. They installed a really nice metal staircase so we can all enjoy it with ease. So right through here, the green part, the green tip of Split is Marjan Park. We're actually gonna be going there tomorrow. We promised Amber for a few days now that we'd be taking her there. And yeah, we can't wait to explore it. We're approaching the top and the views, as you can imagine, impeccable. Next. I don't know. Oh, hell yeah, the beach. It is actually a beach that is uh, sandy, quite unique from other beaches in All the Croatia. pebble beaches. Yeah. Oh. It's like my head thinks they're like right Yeah, because they're, they're huge steps. is a 15 minute walk away from the old city. If ever you're warm from sightseeing, just a short walk away. All right, I'm heading in. Very busy beach, tons of people. There's locals that play this game and it's like handball where you tap a ball in the air but you can't let it fall in the water. And they dive, like they launch themselves onto the ground. Make sure they don't screw up. You don't want to be that guy. Looks fun, hopefully we make friends. God, that feels good after a day of walking around. In fact, this beach was awesome. We're gonna freshen up a little bit, take a shower, and then we're gonna head out for dinner to a place called Matoni. It's actually a konoba, which is a traditional Croatian restaurant that's in a, it looks like a cave. So hopefully we can eat there with Amber. Thank you so much for watching this video of the top sites to see in Split Croatia. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Amber has walked around too much. Her pads were very cracked. So we bought some coconut oil and Pavel's giving her a paw bath. I can't touch her paws because she growls at me, so I had to use a different uh, method. Are you excited? Wait, no, that's not it. Paris still square. It's here. Oh. You might have noticed that we are traveling now with Invisalign in our teeth. So if we show like this a lot, it's because we got our teeth in. But for a greater good, we're going to be straight. What did you say was ruled by this split? The Diocletian. Oh, the guy. Uh, oh. We mean no insult to the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there's, laughs> when things are old, there's a lot of holes everywhere, so you have to look where you're going.